Well, Yolanda, take us through what you're seeing in your hospital. What are the biggest challenges you and your colleagues are facing right now? Right now, the biggest challenges, and thank you for asking, is um, the amount of COVID patients that we are getting in, the, the numbers that we cannot maintain. We have, um, I think, 80 80 patients with COVID right now in our hospital, um, and we're a small hospital. Uh, so we are seeing that across the board, and as was mentioned earlier in the, re in, um, the report by the doctor, is they all are pneumonia, respiratory failure, and COVID. And we're seeing that across the board. We have holes in um, the ED right now, uh, and we are, and everyone is overwhelmed. And we're one of the smaller hospitals in the area, um, and, and we're seeing incredible numbers. I know uh, colleagues at other hospitals are seeing numbers in the 130s, in the 150s of just pure COVID patients. Yolanda, for weeks, and nurses at three Southern California hospitals were preparing to go on strike. It was called off over the weekend. What were you able to achieve in your negotiations that made the nurses call off that strike? Well, you know, the reason that we were planning on striking, we started our negotiations in July. Um, the employer was not coming to the table as often as we wanted to. They would end up uh, leaving early. And finally, last Wednesday, we went through 108 hours of nonstop negotiations. Our, uh, their headquarters are in Tennessee and in Florida. Uh, and we finally brought them to the table. We wanted to see safe staffing, which we are not seeing right now. We wanted to see break and relief nurses. Right now, I'm the charge nurse. I have no one to give breaks. I'm the only one for 14 nurses and um, and then safe staffing, safe staffing, meal and break and um, and just being able to maintain what we have. We sometimes we only have one phlebotomist or one CNA on the floor. These are the things that we were striking for and we were preparing to strike at uh, four, at uh, 430 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We were able to uh, come to an agreement with the employer, HCA. And um, and we pulled our strike notice. We did get some assurances for safe staffing, for workload, and um, and the things that we were asking for. This was not about money. This is never about money. And any negotiation always has a, a financial component. But we wanted to see our patients coming first, which was not happening, and our nurses being protected. And that's that's all we were asking for. And so fortunately, we were able to stop and work to strike. Yolanda, we have about a minute left, but I have to ask you your message to those who are still planning to gather for Christmas at the end of the week. Well, if you saw what we saw on a daily basis, I can tell you how many patients I have watched die. Watch die alone, watch die behind a, uh, a glass door, and maybe we'll let the patient's family in to say their goodbyes outside of that door. These patients are struggling to breathe. They are suffering. And if you are, if you don't want to see your family member like that, if you want to spend another Christmas with them next year, stay home. Don't go out. Please be careful. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Keep your safe distance. That's all we're asking. It's not that. And if you have the opportunity to get a vaccine, please do. Because if you really want to care about your loved ones, then you will do everything it takes in order to protect your family. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.